Hello and welcome to ESL Advice English Lesson. In today's video, we will learn how to ask for help in English. To get regular English lessons, exercises and quizzes, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified. Now, let's move to the lesson. While asking for help, be sure that you are very specific about the help you are asking for and ensure that you are not asking too much. Could you help me please? And would you give me a hand? Are the two most common polite expressions to ask for help. You must use proper words or expressions, tone, and body language to get it right. We can ask for help in different ways. The common way of asking for help from someone is by using modal verbs. You can also do it by using interrogative, imperative, and sometimes some assertive sentences. Asking for help in English using modal verbs. In general, modal auxiliary verbs are used to make requests and ask for permission politely. When you ask for help from someone, you actually make requests to do something beneficial for you. Examples Can you help me? Could you give me a hand? Will you help me out? May I ask for your assistance? Would you do me a favor? Note, whenever you ask for help from someone, you are expected to be polite. No matter whether you are in a formal or informal situation, you must maintain a polite tone and body language. Asking for help in English using interrogative sentences. We use interrogative sentences for different purposes. Though the primary purpose of an interrogative sentence is to ask questions, we also use it to ask for someone's permission or to ask for help. You can use modal verbs to form questions to ask for help from someone. Examples Is it alright if I ask for your help when needed? Do you mind giving me a hand? Are you available to help me with this? Asking for help in English using imperative sentences. We use imperative sentences to ask someone to do something. We express command, request, proposal, and encouragement with such sentences. Examples Do me a favor, please. Please help me with this. Please allow me to ask for help. Note, while you request someone to help you, the word please can help you sound politer. Remember, politeness is the key to a good conversation. Your good choice of words and tone is crucial to making a proper request for help. This can help you not get rejected. Asking for help in English using affirmative sentences. Though we use affirmative sentences to give neutral statements, we can ask for help with such sentences. Examples I need your helping hand to accomplish this. I would like to ask for your help when needed. I want your assistance. I wonder if you could help me with this. I need a favor from you. Though apparently, such sentences look like affirmatives or statements, they are originally imperatives because the purpose of the sentences is not to give any statement but rather to request someone to ask for help. Let me share some tips for politely asking for help. Number 1. Create an excellent first impression and make an environment in which you can share your problems and ask for help. You should take your time and wait for the right moment. Number 2. Be polite while asking for help, no matter whether you are in a formal or informal situation. You must maintain a polite attitude towards everybody regardless of their age and social status. If you are polite, only then you can expect help from others. Your right choice of words, appropriate voice tone, and body language are three core things that help you sound polite. Number 3. Never hesitate to ask for help from others if you genuinely need it. We are social beings. We live hand in hand. Thus, it's our moral responsibility to help others. So, there is no shame in asking for help from others. Number 4. Be minimalistic while asking for help from someone. For example, while writing an assignment, you can ask for some help or suggestions from your friend, but you must not expect that he will write the whole assignment for all. Make sure your asking for help doesn't cause trouble for the person you are asking for help from. Number 5. Never ask for any help with anything that you can do by yourself. 
Try yourself first, then go for asking for help. Number 6. Be very clear and specific about what kind of help you need. For example, if you need some monetary help, be specific about the amount and, if possible, share the reasons why you need it. You should convince them with the proper reasons why they should do this favor for you. Number 7. Don't hurry. Give the person enough time to think and make a decision about whether he will help you or not. Some people may not instantly or directly say no to you. Let them think. Don't push them too much. Number 8. Ask for help from the right person at the right time and place. Before approaching someone, think about whether the person is capable of helping you with this issue or not. If not, think about someone else. Number 9. Be always ready to accept denial. As no one is bound to help you, be gentle and polite if you are rejected. Thank them from the core of your heart for just sparing some time to listen to you. Number 10. Offer help to others, too, rather than just asking them. If you help someone today, there will be a high possibility of getting help from them tomorrow. That's all about the ways of asking for help in English. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. If you still have any questions about today's topic, ask me in the comment box. You can also let me know on what topic you want me to make video lessons for you. For more lectures, visit www.esladvice.com.